Stay tuned at the end of this video for a special announcement from me, Will. Hey guys, what's up? It's Will. We're about to talk about Star Wars Rogue One or Rogue One, a Star Wars story, whatever you want to call it, here on the Will West Show. Knock, knock, open up the door. It's Will. If there's one thing you need to know about me, is that I'm huge, huge, not literally just tall, but big, big round, like the Death Star and Starkiller Base. Okay, enough of the Star Wars jokes. I am a huge Star Wars fan. I absolutely love it. Like, oh my god. I, I maybe don't wear a cape like Jeremy Johns, but I have so many toys from my childhood, so many toys from now. I absolutely love it. There's that. So, when I heard this trailer was coming out, I was like, finally, what? Yes, about time. Like, when The Force Awakens came out, they gave us like at least about a year, a, a year and a month ahead of time. Like, they gave us like that little, little 88 seconds. Which gave us nothing, and we all theorized, like, what's that droid? What's with that lightsaber? Who, ah, what is this? We got the names and everything, but we had no idea what the hell to go off that. But this, we got a little bit more information. And I'm going to tell you my thoughts and things that, like, popped out to me immediately. Here we go. Uh, we open up with, like, uh, like a little p piano rendition of the Force theme, and it's, it sounds pretty cool. Um, so, like, we're already, we're already nowhere in for something different. Uh, we get this uh, Felicity Jones character, Jen Arso, and she's in handcuffs, and Mon Mothma, and this uh, this Poe Dameron looking type. I know it's not him, and maybe I'm off base for going off this theory, but I, I want to say that's Biggs. It looks like Biggs. We need to have Biggs. Everyone, and everyone's, I think some people I've watched, or people who've talked about it, oh, it can't be Biggs, he, he helps blow up the Death Star. He can be someone who has signed the mission to this girl with my Mothma, but I'm not here to get in a fight about that. It could be Biggs, it could be some other character. I don't care, it looks like Biggs. Are we, are we cool there? Um, but yeah, Jyn Arso. The, let's stop her rap sheet, like she's forged Imperial documents, stolen stuff. Just the type of person they need for a mission to get these Death Star plans. We also get to see Mon Mothma, who looks almost identical to the actress from Return of the Jedi. And fun fact, this is the actress who played her in episode 3. And you're going like, what, Will? There was no Mon Mothma in episode 3. There was, but they deleted scenes. So it technically wasn't canon until now that she would get to be in there. So good on her for getting to be in a Star Wars movie finally. You go, Mon Mothma. <laughs> Forrest Whitaker. Uh, his character looks sweet. Like He looks like he's got like a little scar across his face. His armor looks very Mandalorian-esque. Maybe a Shadow Trooper, maybe a former Imperial agent. I don't know. But he looks, seems very intense, tense, like he's going to be like the mentor type. Maybe maybe Jin has to find this woman. <laughs> maybe Jin has to find... <laughs> he's not a woman, he's a man, baby! <laughs> um, maybe Jin has to find uh, this Forrest Whitaker character to know like Imperial procedures and how to get into the Death Star, etc. I don't know, that's just my little theory right there. See, it's fun, we can have theories, guys. It's awesome. It's cool. He, with this and that, whatever. Um, uh, Grand Admiral in that white cloak and the cape or whatever. I was like, oh my god! Like, I know it's not Thrawn because Thrawn's that blue alien, and like, I know that's a big trait to his character and deals with the story. I didn't read those books. You know, Thrawn's a big deal. He's cool. He's a great character. I'll read about him in the future. Uh, but this guy like looks menacing, like Thrawn, and just. I wouldn't be opposed if they took elements from Thrawn and put them into this character because that's what they've been doing. Like, but like Kylo and Rey are sort of like like those uh, like the Solo kids, and maybe this Grand Animal could be like Thrawn. It's probably not, but that'd be a cool like little uh, nod for all the fans who love those books. Or maybe people will shit on it. I don't know. The next thing, and this one got me super excited, uh, was. I, it was like barely a flash, but it got me excited. Um, was this little cloaked figure uh, in front of a back to container with the uh, Republic Imperial Guards or whatever? I'm going like, what is going on there? Like, is that Vader? Like in a cloak? Like, well, I don't know why Vader would be in a cloak, but maybe we, maybe we still can see him long enough to know if that's really him or not. Maybe it's an Inquisitor because this. It takes place during the Rebels timeline. They've, they've, it's been talked, discussed that this and Rebels kind of like coincide, like they're in the same timeline. Um, maybe it's Darth Maul. Maybe it's maybe it could be another Grand Admiral. I have no idea, but that's very intriguing. Maybe what's in that batch container? Is it a clone of the Emperor? Is it Galen Merrick? I don't know, because this also takes place around that time that Force Unleashed, the game, came out. And I'm like, holy crap, how cool would that be if they made that canon? 
They're probably not going to, but that's just the fanboy in me going like, ah, I want Sam Witwer to be in a Star Wars movie, ah. <laughs> the next thing, Jin and her Imperial like get up to like kind of get around the Death Star or wherever she is to get the plans. During the Force Whitaker moment, going like, oh, what would happen if you keep fighting? What will you become? Like, everybody's speculating, like, oh, no, she went evil. Also, there's a weird thing on the internet that everybody's saying that she and Katniss Everdeen look alike or these movies are going to be similar. Can I just say, shut the fuck up. These are two different movies. This is Star Wars. This is Hunger Games. Just because two characters look very similar and they have, like, a similar shot does not mean the movie will be, like, be the same. Can, can, can I just address that right now and just tell people to shut the fuck up, please? Because, like, come on. They look similar. They're dressed alike. Who cares? Does not mean the movies are going to be alike. Fair? Okay. Now that I got that out of my system, um, we I hear something. I think a lot of fans have heard this. And maybe the, we're reaching here. We're reaching really hard here. But we hear a slight breath. Maybe just her breathing like from like getting the running away from somebody or like being scared. Or maybe it's Vader. Because Vader's around, he's in his pr prime kick-ass days. And if you, you watch Rebels, you know what I'm talking about. He kicked Kanan and Ezra's ass. And he held his own against Ahsoka, from what I've heard. I've been in season two, guys. So, boo! I know. Some Star Wars fan I am, right, guys? <laughs> but, oh my god. It'd be, it would be a revelation to see him kick ass. Because we never got to... Besides him kicking Luke's ass in the original trilogy... In Empire, we didn't get to see that. Like, we saw him at, at the end of his run, and that's unfair to us as the fans. I mean, we've seen interpretations, we've played it on Battlefront, but it would be cool to see it in live action, him kicking ass. Some things that were kind of brought to my attention, like, we didn't see Ada and ATA to walkers on a beach. We haven't seen that. And just seeing palm trees in the Star Wars universe, that's so different and new. I know that's like a little tiny, itsy bitsy thing, but like, holy crap, those are beaches in this universe. What the hell? <clears throat> and just seeing the scale of like that at Walker like Byron as like a point of view like we're in Hardcore Henry or just seeing the size of that Death Star being made like funny enough Gareth Edwards the guy who made Godzilla is now making a movie about a Godzilla-esque size weapon in the Star Wars universe how crazy is that like they know they know what they're doing and just oh, it looks like Star Wars Battlefront the movie the game <laughs> but like, oh my god like I am excited. I'm just rambling now at this point, so I'm, I'm just gonna wrap it up. I love this trailer. I'm sold. I don't need to see any more. Maybe a trailer with Vader would be great. But yeah, that's what I got. So here's that special announcement. So here's the special announcement, guys. I'm gonna do a Star Wars related show here on the channel. Uh, some of you guys are probably disappointed now. You're going, oh, what? Will thought you were gonna do something cool and this and that. And I think it's pretty cool. Um, but it's gonna be called Will of the Force. Um, I'm gonna for it. I'm gonna tackle either. Star Wars things as they pop up throughout the weeks, months, whatever it is. It might be a tad bit slow and, and maybe very sporadic, but that's how I may do it. Or I may do it week to week. Maybe not not every week, but maybe a week to bi-weekly, depending on news. I mean, I, I like every little snippet of information, but I doubt you want to hear that. Oh, hey, Star Wars, the Rogue One Visual Dictionary comes out three weeks before the movie comes out. You want to see a two-minute video about that? You can look that up on Wikipedia or like StarWarsMovieNews.com or something like that. Faster than I could tell you about it, so I don't want to waste your time. I want to talk about cool stuff like this trailer. Or hey, the Blu-ray is released. Here's all the different versions you can get. Or hey, Poe Dameron 1 came out. Here's my little review about it. Stuff like that. That was going to be my initial plan for this week, but life gets crazy. And I just figured, hey, we'll tackle the trailer. We'll take some baby steps. I'm still getting new to the YouTube thing. You're still getting used to me. So it's, it's, gonna, it's the will of the force to do it like this. I, I, I'm a pretty funny guy, so I kind of love that title. So, Will of the Force. Here, from week to week, or sporadically, depending on Star Wars news. But yeah, there it is, guys. Uh, what was your favorite part of the trailer? Do you like the Will of the Force idea? What was your least favorite part of the trailer? And what do you guys want to see from me on here? Let me know in the comments below. Like this video, subscribe, do all that stuff. I You don't even have to. I don't even care. If you get to give us a view, that's fine for me. But yeah, just remember guys, when there's a will, there's a way. And thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.